Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on statistics. In this video, we'll be calculating standard deviation. We have our problem here. Calculate the standard deviation of the distribution in the frequency table. We have the frequency table here and um, the intervals are range of ages and the frequencies are given. And before we go, we need to look at the standard deviation formula, which is square root of sigma fd squared over n minus open bracket sigma fd all over n all to the power of 2 where d is equal to x minus a uh, our x is the mid value of the class intervals while a is the assumed mean so we create additional columns for x which we have already stated that it is the mid value of the class intervals. For the first class interval, we add the lower limit and the upper limit and then divide the sum by 2. 11 plus 20 gives 31. 31 divided by 2 gives 15.5. 21 plus 30 divided the sum by 2 gives 25.5. 31 plus 40 is 71 divided by 2 gives 35.5. 41 plus 50 divided the sum by 2 gives 45.5. 51 plus 60 divided by 2 gives 55.5. 61 plus 70 divided the sum by 2 gives 65.5. And finally, 71 plus 80 divided the sum by 2 gives 75.5. The next is to find our x minus a. So we create another column for d which is x minus a. Then our choice of a must be within the range of the class intervals. If you like, you can pick 11 as your assumed mean. If you like, you can pick 80. You are expected to pick the assumed mean from the central values. So if I like now, I may pick 41 or 50, but I want to pick 45 for easier calculation. So I'm going to use assume mean of 45 so we start with the first value of x which is 15.5 15.5 minus 45 gives negative 29.5 25.5 minus 45 gives minus 19.5 35.5 minus 45 gives minus 9.5 45.5 minus 45 gives 0 0.5 55.5 minus 45 gives 10.5, 65.5 minus 45 gives 20.5, and finally 75.5 minus 45 gives 30.5. So the next thing is to get our d squared before we multiply by f and fd. So we need to get our d squared. This is our d, which means we are going to be squaring this. Negative 29.5 squared gives 870.25. Negative 19.5 squared gives 380.25. Negative 9.5 squared gives 90.25. 0 0.5 squared gives 0 0.25. 10.5 squared gives 110.25. 20.5 squared gives 420.25. 30.5 squared gives 930.25. We then go ahead to get our FD and FD squared. So we start with FD, which means the frequency times D. So 3 times negative 29.5 gives negative 88.5. 4 times negative 19.5 gives negative 78. 7 times negative 9.5 gives negative 66.5. 8 times 0 0.5 gives 4. 5 times 10.5 gives 52.5. 2 times 20.5 gives 41. And 1 times 30.5 gives 30.5. And the last column for this is fd squared. You see our fd here. 
So F, which is the frequency multiplied by D squared. So for the first row, we have 30 times 870.25, giving us 2610.8. 4 times 380.25 gives 1521. 7 times 90.25 gives 631.75. Then 8 times 0 0.25 gives 2. 5 times 110.25 gives 551.25. 2 times 420.25 gives 840.5. Finally, 1 times 930.25 gives 930.25. We then go ahead to carry out the sum. N means the total population of the distribution, which is the same thing as summation of F. So we come here, we are going to have it as 3 plus 4 plus 7 plus 8 plus 5 plus 2 plus 1, and that will give us 30. The next is FD. So we have FD here, negative 88.5 minus 78. Minus 66.5 plus 4 plus 52.5 plus 41 plus 30.5 gives negative 105. And then the last column will be added also 2610.8 plus 1521 plus 631.75 plus 2 plus 551.25 plus 840.5 plus 930.25 gives. 7087.5. We go ahead to substitute into the standard deviation formula, and that's going to give us SD equal to square root of sigma FD squared. This is FD squared. The summation is 7087.5. Then divide by our n. Our n is 30, so we divide by 30 then minus open bracket sigma fd our sigma fd is negative 105 then divide by our n our n is 30 then close the bracket raised to power 2 so the standard deviation will be square root of 7087.5 divided by 30 gives 236.25 then minus negative 105 divided by 30 squaring the quotient we have 12.25 this becomes square root of 224 because 338.25 minus 12.25 gives 224 so square root of 224 gives 14.9 Seven to two decimal places, which represent the standard deviation of this distribution. And that's the end of solution to this problem. And this is where we are ending this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video. Also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to playlist containing all the videos on statistics. Until we come your way again, goodbye.